Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Zach B, and welcome back to another brand new tips episode here on Blowout Gaming. Today, I am going to be taking you guys through the Genesis simulation for some serious element farming. Now, there are a few ways to do this, and I want to take you through them all, so smash that like button if you're ready, and let's get started. Now, guys, to maximize that element gathering efficiency, I like to recommend an Anki, a Chainsaw, and a mining drill, or any combination of the three, because these are going to be the absolute best tools for harvesting up this element. First up, I like to call this method the Lunar Assault Method. As you guys know, tech creatures drop element dust when harvested. And floating around the lunar biome, you will see there are no shortage of tech creatures to kill. Now, you can use whatever creature you like to kill them and harvest them, but I found that if you have a nice, strong Anki, you can destroy the creatures without harvesting them, and then just hop off and harvest way more with your chainsaw. You can see I have it down here below, and all I do is dismount and chainsaw. Dismount, chainsaw. Really that simple. And you know what? I'm going to get a whole lot more material. You can see the difference here. Of course, the chainsaw is also going to collect a lot more than a normal pickaxe as well. Now, guys, I will admit that I chose the Anki for a second reason as well. Believe it or not, all boulders and stones in the lunar biome will give you element as well. I know, absolute mind blower. Of course, the Anki is the best creature to collect that nice refined element within those moon rocks. Just one more reason I love this lunar biome. And you can see with every swipe of that tail, it's going to collect element. So you can literally run around collecting element, killing tech creatures, and then jumping off and harvesting those bodies with your chainsaw, doubling up on your element harvesting production. Now, you guys guessed it. Lastly, we are going to head over here to the volcanic biome for the absolute best way to finish farming all of the element we are going to need. I always like to start right up here at the top of the volcano because I like to point out this spot. It is a bit safer of a location, and you are going to find a few different patches of these pink red crystals that you can see here. Now, these, of course, can be harvested with your pickaxe, but if we go ahead and pull out the mining drill, you'll see we collect tons of element shards with each crystal we destroy. Now, unfortunately, these spots up here on the top of the volcano are spread a little bit thin, and they are a little bit few and far between. So let's go get us some backup and head down into the belly of the beast for some serious element farming. Now, as you guys can see, down here in the middle of the volcano, we are in the Magmasaur pit. And you can see, obviously, these pink crystals are literally everywhere. You look left, you look right, they're absolutely everywhere. So once we clear out the Magmasaurs, you can actually run around harvesting until you're too heavy to walk. Literally too heavy to walk. And then just teleport out of there. It's really that simple. Make the unstable element in your inventory with the dust and element in the tech replicator with the shards. Couple trips to the volcano in the moon, guys, and you will have all of the element you'll ever need. So that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Hopefully this helps make things easier for you. Go ahead and hit that like button for me if you love ARK as much as I do. And of course, smash that subscribe button so you do not miss out on the next one. I'll see you later.